Hey guys, this is Clay with Texas Know How. Today I'm going to modify my cruiser again and I'm going to install a factory CDL switch. This is a center differential lock switch. And basically it's a, you know, a real factory when I got this thing online from somebody who was wanting to sell it. And they just basically cut their harness so I'm going to have to my harness should plug in right here where this plug is, but he actually sent part of his wiring harness and everything. I think he was parting the truck out. So, um, it's backlit, I think. Um, everything should be just like it would be if this thing would have come from the factory. But it, in my dash, I've got a situation here uh, where it's going to be harder to install because my truck actually came from the, with the factory security system right here. Let's see if I can get that to come in, yeah. So I got the factory security system on this hole, and that's where a lot of people put this CDL switch. And then I've got, this is your regular, uh, trying to get it to come in, there's some sunlight here. This is your regular hazard light, and then this is your defrost, and then next to that I've got the up and down on my antenna. Now this is the, um, the optional cup tray, it has it in this truck too. And this is going to be important because right in here, if I can get this thing to zoom in, there's a screw right there, a Phillips. See it? And there's a Phillips on this side. That's going to help me remove the dash along with taking this out. There's screws in here. There's one right there on the corner and one right here on this corner. Once I remove those four screws, this dash will pop loose and it'll come out of here and then the wiring harness for that CDL switch is right behind the the switches here on top so I've got a decision to make I've got two blanks down here one here and one here that would be great for me to put the CDL switch in I mean right here would be handy it'd be right by the stick shift you know if I'm holding on to this I could reach up and click that it's a little bit away from the passenger side of the truck this is in the US so the steering wheel is on the left um, and this position would probably be as fi fine as well. Um, on my 100 series, there is a switch right here that has to do with, I uh, forget what it is. It might even be the uh, differential locks or something, but my knee has hit this before. Um, kind of goofed around in the truck, you know, changing my boots or something while I'm still sitting in here with snow outside. And my knee has tapped that, and I don't realize it till I get back in the car, start it up, and there's a light on the dash telling me something's engaged. So I may go here, actually, if I could get it here. The problem is, will the wiring harness reach to this point? It's it's normally installed right behind these points up here. Again, forgive me for all the sunlight coming in on the camera; it's hitting the lens. So. Uh, let's get this dash out of here. I'm gonna put you back on a tripod and we'll take a look and see what our wiring situation is all right let's get this out take these screws get it but i'm kind of rattling up against that that cup tray okay that lets this come out so there's your your cup holder all the way extended right there okay then we'll take these two screws out I can feel the bezel getting looser now the other thing is I'm going to put the key in and actually move my stick shift back to the low position and then I'll have to shut the door because it, it's going to stay, the key won't come out. But let's see what happens now when I pull on this to get this bezel off. I want to understand it will pop off, I've never done this. There, it's coming from the bottom. It's got one more in here. There it goes. All right. And looking in here, I'm probably right in your way, but looking in here, it's clear behind 
this blank right here, the lower blank I want to use, it's clear. There's a good amount of space in there. Um, the security blank would easily, easily move down. It's got lots of slack if I wanted to do that. In fact, I could move it down into one of these. I think I may do that. Now it doesn't show, see that little blank just came out that easy. It doesn't show as good down there, but um, you know, I just, I think it's fine. If anybody looks in here at night and they see a flashing red light, they'll probably uh, steer clear of the vehicle because this thing will start honking its horn. My security system works fine, that's for sure. Now getting these little tabs on this is a little bit hard to get that to come out. Maybe we could use a flat blade. Work on it out here. Because I've probably got to get it out of the way anyway to find those wiring harness. I'm looking for that, that CDL wiring harness. Ah, oh, it's taped right here. I'm going to take you off the tripod and show you this. I'm going to take you off. Alright, here's my dash out. I'm bringing you up close. When you look in here, do you see that? There's a... This wire right here, it was coming forward on this side right there and they just folded it back and it's taped against the big harness with this piece of foam on it to kind of keep it from rattling and to kind of keep a good grip and I've heard everybody describe it this way. Let's see, it's right there. It's kind of taped on. There's nothing on the back side of that when I feel back there. So I'm going to cut this little black band right here and bring this forward easy now see here here's my jumpers these little jumpers that people tell you about and that's what basically bypassed this in the first place. And if I look in this foam right here, I'll see my jumper wire. See that? Right there. So that should hook right into the back of my CBL switch. So if I take this his plug out. side back here see that so I took that foam thing off it had a jumper on it and this looks just like that that little black one that he sent where he cut his harness so my CDL switch will snap right on here but I don't want to do it right now because I gotta install it in the truck, in this hole right here where my security is. That's where I'm gonna put it. Okay, what I did here was this wasn't coming out very easy, this little security, uh, factory security thing. So I took my knife and right here in the corner of this wood grain, it, I just took the tip of my knife and carved it a hair and then I slipped this out on one side and then the other because it's hanging behind the wood grain application it's just a wood grain sticker and it was hanging on that now I'm just going to go back here and unhook these uh... alright I grabbed a little screwdriver this way you can kind of get under here and push that little tab down and work it, work it. Yeah, finally got it. Woo! So it's got like a little thing that hangs right there. It's just really tough. Alright, so there's our white one. The way I finally got it was just prying in here and doing that. Pry in here and lift up. Got it. Bring my, bring my wires out through this hole. I'm reinstalling down here. 
besides my beside my heat. Pop that back in. Need to put a little bit more spring tension on these. Pull out a little bit. It's not very strong in there. Pop it in. Got it. And then I'm gonna bring these wires back down. There's a hole in the back of the dash I'm gonna come out of that's a little bit more appropriate for these wires down here. So I'm gonna bring this through a, a little bit different hole down here. One that is low. And then I'm gonna hook it up underneath here. Blue to blue, white to white. You see how easy that popped out when I hit it from the back, so we're gonna have to be careful. that sticky foam back around them. No problem. Okay, now I'll leave that to put back together in a little bit and I'll pop this back in last. And I may have to put some tape or something on those to keep them in a little stronger. But now, I freed up the hole for my, my uh, center differential lock. And to get the top, you want to put this light bulb on top. So that's the way it works. And then we get one side in. Hopefully pass this thing bezel. If not, I may have to trim it just a little bit on the corners to get it to pop in there past that. Because this application of this sticker right here, I hate to pull it off. I'd have to glue it all back on. But it ain't going to come out of here really easy. So I may have to round off those corners a little bit to get that to slip in there. It's kind of sad because I didn't want to do that. I kind of wanted this just to go down in there. Let's see if I can get to squeeze by. It's kind of squeezing in there now on that side. I got that side. It's a little bit harder to get in. There it goes. So now, see, I got to squeeze in. Didn't have to, didn't have to round it at all. So that's that's working. And then now, all I gotta do is slide this connector back in here. All right, done. So then what I'm gonna do is put this back, this bezel back up in here. I'm gonna look back for these wires for the security system and make sure they're out of the way. In fact, I may just keep them kind of all forward. Pop this back into place. There's that, there's that. These wires feel safe. Get this put back in, pop them in. And there you go. Reverse the screws, put those back in. Got two right here and two behind here, and put it all back together. And uh, there's your center differential lock now. So if you ever lose your front drive shaft out on the trail, or you're working on your front drive shaft and you still want to drive somewhere, lock this. Your rear, your rear drive shaft will propel you fine. Otherwise, they kind of slip on each other, and you'd kind of sit here and not really make any gear traction. I guess is the best way to say it. All right, I got y'all off the tripod. Let's try this out. I'm going to go into drive, and I'm just going to start heading down the road a little bit here. We're going to click this, and then we're going to look on our dash. So, clicking the switch. You see my difference. ABS goes off. Because whenever things lock together, they don't. You're not going to be able to do your ABS, which controls each wheel individually. They're all going to work together anyway. And then you see your differential lock there. So we know that we're locked up right now. So our our back axle and our front axle have to turn together. One of them won't slip. So and as you can see, I'm still in high over here on my little gear shifter. So that's the way you can control it with the with the pin 7 mod that I'm talking about we can uh, I'm gonna click it undone now and see I'm going reverse and just switching to reverse since it's in the transmission this is done or in the transfer case it's got enough movement that it can undo itself 
So now I'm backing up, going back up the driveway. There you go. It's a nice mod. All right, so there you go. The next mod we're going to make is called the Pin 7 mod. And what that does is actually give you complete control of when your center differential is locked in. Otherwise, what will happen is when you put this little gear shift here into low, you're going to get the locked differential. Sometimes you may not want that. You may want to drive around the low and let the two differentials slip with each other. If that's the case, then you want to do the Pin 7 mod. And basically, the Pin 7 mod is going to open up this left kick panel over here by the driver's side. There's a, a module in there that controls the engagement, the auto engagement of that central differential lock when this goes into low. And all the pin 7 mod is, is we're going to take the connector apart down there on that module and take the pin, the seventh pin and unhook it from the module, tape it back, put it all back together and put it in there. And that way, nothing, this doesn't engage the center differential, only this button. That way you're in complete control of when the center differential is locked and when it's not. So a couple other things we're going to do. We're going to be blacking out the wheels on this Land Cruiser, so I'll show you that. We're also going to put a black anti-glare stripe on the hood. So we're going to do that with Plasti Dip so we can peel it off if we don't like it. But basically I'm going to use flat black when you're out and you're motoring around and you're tilting going over hills and over humps and through rocks. A lot of times the sun will hit that white hood and really blind you in here. So I'm going to black that center portion of the hood off and I want really clean lines going down the side, so I'm going to film all that, so stay tuned. Till next time, this is Clay, Texas Know How.